I think the bike horn is gonna do a little bit of something something. Detective, <laughs> you awoke me from a deep, deep trance. Nobody's gone through here, but maybe I can still help you somehow. Maybe you can. No, I haven't seen Penelope, and I don't care to. Sure, sure. What else do you have to say for yourself? Reginald was a good friend above all else. I never wanted his money. Four pairs of shoes for $1,420? Even two suits, $1,800. Like in today's money, that's a $920 suit. That's a nice suit. All right, I was in debt. I did what I had to do. But I wasn't the only one taking advantage of poor Reginald. Everybody seems to have been taking advantage of poor Reginald. If you keep quiet until I find the place where my father has hidden the will, I promise you a very nice reward, Penelope! Dun dun dun! Yes, it was her! She was always taking her father for granted, unlike me. Here you go! Yes, here you go. Yeah, four pairs of shoes for $1,400. Th those are some nice shoes. Considering this is, you know, what, 1920s time frame? 1930s? Like, those are some pricey shoes. Alright, let's go to the terrace. Let's see here. Collectible! Let's go over here. We've got a nice fancy ring that we can put our crown into. There's something on the inside of this ring, but it's too small to see with the naked eye. There's a naked statue over here. I need a precision tool to handle this, like a crowbar. Those could be precision tools. Why, why not? Totally a legit use of a crowbar right here. Let's see. I love that this table's got cobras for legs. That is such a neat little detail there. Let's have a look at our evidence. It's mounting here. Penelope is up to no good. See, four pairs of leather shoes. Like, okay, leather, I guess, but wow. Let's see. Very nice clothing there, for sure. I guess he has to look magnificent in all that magnificent clothing. <laughs> Time for a crowbar, yes. I know, Crystal, I know. Okay, so I've got myself numbers, a cleaning rag, paper roll, and a crown ring. Somehow I have to zoom in on this ring. Let's see, I don't know what... I was here before and I'm not even sure. Apparently there's something here I need to do. Okay, so let me see here. Where is the part that you have to click? Right there. Okay. No? Ah, alright. Now we put the numbers? Aha! Let the math begin. Press the number button so that the total of each row and column matches the number listed along the edge. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, that's gotta be that. That's three. There's only one way. Well, I guess it could be just this one. Uh, that would be nine. So how do I get six here? That would be six. So I need 10 here, three, that's seven. That's seven. That's nine already. And four. Yay, awesome. Yeah, you guys are totally a distraction, but it's a good distraction. It's a fun distraction. That's what I like to do on my Saturdays, get distracted. <laughs> Alright, let's clean this off here. Let's go ahead and put that in there and have a little peeky and see what's going on. 
Ooh, it's a code. I like codes. Wait. Oh, it's gotta go here. 46. 65. Oh, I see. I don't have to put it all in. Good, good. Let's see. I hid my most precious belonging in the firebox outside. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Dad's playing a trick here. He's trolling the daughter. Oh, look, we got some calipers. What are we measuring? Oh, I bet you that's going to be that delicate tool. Which is not a crowbar. Which makes me sad. Aw. Alright, calipers, do what you do best. And we've got some glitter! Okay. Look at the giant bolt cutters. Those look great. So what am I looking for here? I'm looking for matches, apparently. Let's see... Ooh, morphing object! Uh, hmm... Some sort of bracelet of some sort? <laughs> I like the flypaper, check that out, that is so neat. There's some of those, and then, I forget what this is called, but it's gonna have, yeah, there you go, clasp on either side. I'll take that, I'll take that, and then this thing here, hmm, not sure what this last one is, any ideas what this thing, this symbol is supposed to be for? Oh, never mind, I got it! And we're continuing to pick away at the pile here. Nut and bolt. And a light bulb. Yay. And something else is going on here. Lighter, I think. No. Earring. Yeah, it was a green marble, wasn't it? So, we've got it! You! You'll pay for taking my inheritance away from me! Wow! <laughs> we got action going on here! Ah uh, yes, I have a lot of fun playing with Warfire. Uh, we definitely had a... Uh, you know, it's it's a little difficult when you're playing single player games when you do it together, but it's it's definitely been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we're totally adults here. Okay, let's see here. Let's go here and take care of that. Uh, I think I just messed this. Oh no, maybe not. Good times. Warfire has been very busy with school, and I've been very busy with work, so we just haven't had, uh, you know, a schedule that has made sense to kind of to do that. But it's definitely something we want to do more of. It's just finding the time to do it. Uh, I think I got this. Penelope Greer, you're under arrest. You have the right to an attorney, if you can afford one. Yay! It's happiness again. The orphanage. He donated his house to the orphanage? Aww. Yes, we do live in two different time zones, so that is also challenging too. Alright, we finished the bonus chapter. Excellent! Alright, we've got Twitter, we got Facebook. Let's go and look at our extras here. Let's see what else we got cooking. So 
we got all of our cutscenes, which is I like when this is included. This is nice. You can go back and rewatch those. Of course, you've got all the music here as well. That's really nice. Wallpapers. Of course, I always find these useful. Personally, I like the wallpapers with people in them. Those are my favorite kind of wallpapers. As opposed to like when it's a screenshot of the game, I like it like this because it means the developer went through the effort to make these. I like that. It's nice. Well, you know what? We guess we could do the making of. Uh, what was this all about? Let's have a look here. Okay, so we missed a few of. Wow, we missed quite a few of our cards. Let's go back here for a second. Oh, I see. This is going to be the collectible. Oh no, I. We can come back to this. I'll do this uh, later. I want to actually see... Oh, well, I guess the thing is hope that I usually use the wallpapers for like thumbnails, right? So that's why it's uh, helpful for me. Okay, so those are the puzzles. Those are always nice to go back to. I'll tell you the one that I didn't enjoy. I really enjoyed this gear one. I like that one a lot. Uh, this one I felt it was just a little one space too tight. Wasn't a fan of that one. The maze one was fun. I actually like this uh, night one here. That was actually kind of neat as well. Uh, this one was okay. I did brute force. This one here, the art in that sheet of paper, it was kind of confusing to match it to the actual clay. So that was the only other puzzle I had a bit of issue with. Everything else was actually uh, relatively straightforward. But yeah. Oh, this was the other one. The thing here with, I didn't like about this one is the branches. I just wish they were a little bit easier to kind of see. Different colors, I guess. I like this one. I always like these ones where you have to kind of clear out the path here. But anyways, there you go. That's all good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just look at the making of, because we can. We'll have to check this out. So I know that we have to, in order to do the souvenir room, I'm pretty sure we have to get all the collectibles first, right? Let me just check. Oh no, maybe we just have to beat the bonus chapter. Ah, okay. Alright, hang on a second. Let me get out of here. Uh, where is it? There we go. See, this is one thing I would really love, and maybe it's not obvious to me, but... For these kind of souvenir rooms, I would love a start button. Just tell me where I want to... Because I, I, what I really enjoy about the souvenir rooms is kind of following along with the game narrative. And kind of reminiscing. But I'd love it if there was like a, you know, you have start button. So you know, if you click the start, you know you're getting the absolute first scene. Because this was definitely in the bonus chapter, right? Alright, well, I'm gonna actually kind of uh, back out here, and I'd love to say 
thanks again to the folks at Apex Entertainment for putting together another cool game. I enjoyed the first Dead Reckoning game as well. And uh, if we go to the more games here, like, I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> like even this one here with the vampires, I enjoyed that one as well. I've played uh, this one too, Fiends and Fairies. The Final Cut, that was actually one of my first Epix Entertainment game, was the very first Final Cut. Really enjoy that one. But anyways, there's still more to play in the Epix catalog. We'll have to kind of consider that for upcoming weeks. I, of course, have to sign off now. Thank you all for sticking around, all 30 plus of you. Thank you for sticking to the very end. And of course, special thanks to uh, Everbeats for uh, stopping by and saying howdy. That'll do it for me. I'm going to be done for the day. Hopefully you folks all have a great week. Just a quick reminder that I will be doing Life is Strange on Wednesday. And then we'll be back next Saturday for more Hoba adventures. So thank you all. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.